Hundreds of thousands of Los Angeles Unified students and staff members are set to return to campuses for the start of second semester on Tuesday, January 11, amid an unrelenting surge in coronavirus transmission that has taken the nation by storm and led to record numbers of new cases in Los Angeles. And while school districts throughout the country have had to postpone the reopening of school or reverted to remote instruction, officials in the nation's second-largest district on Monday forged ahead with plans to start the new semester with classrooms open. Teachers and administrators are hard. Interim Superintendent Megan Riley tweeted Monday morning as she visited a school site. But the question remains how many students or district employees will be out Tuesday or in subsequent days due to having contracted the coronavirus or having been in close contact with someone who tests positive for the virus. And while schools may not close entirely, students could still experience disruptions in the days ahead as they, their classmates or teachers are in and out of class. The latest surge in cases has already had an impact on student athletics. Late Sunday, LAUSD informed administrators and parents that all competitions planned for this week have been postponed and will be rescheduled. As of Monday afternoon, a total of 424, 230 students and district employees, had tested for the coronavirus, about 83% of students and 90% of staff, with 65. 630 testing positive, according to the district. That overall test positivity rate of about 15.5% is lower than the county's overall rate of 21.4%, officials said. Of those who had undergone testing, the positivity rate was 16.6% among students and 14.9% among employees. Students or employees who test positive for the coronavirus must isolate at least five days. They may return to campus on the sixth day if they receive a negative result from an antigen test taken on the fifth day or later and either were asymptomatic or, if they had symptoms, the symptoms are improving and they've been fever-free for 24 hours without medication. In a video message to the school's community Monday, Riley thanked and encouraged families to remain patient, acknowledging that there may be some lines as students must go through a health screening before entering campus and longer wait times for school buses since some employees may be out due to. She noted that this is the third semester that LA Unified has offered in-person learning during the pandemic. All employees on campuses now are vaccinated as are more than 80% of students 12 and older, 